So here's the midpoint formula. What this formula says is that if this point has an x and a y value, and this point has an x and a y value, right? That's how we talk about points, an x and a y. That this point, the point that's in the middle that splits this into two equal parts, the way that I can find the coordinates of this point, let's call it P, sometimes we call it M for a midpoint, is I can take the two x values, add them and divide by two. This is basically finding the average of the two x values, right? And I take the two, and if I want the y value of this point, I take the two y values, I add them and I divide by two. Okay? And you're gonna see that this actually makes sense. I'm gonna show you in the first example that this is this this makes sense. Okay, so K, KL has endpoints uh, K, so we're going to say, okay, K is 8, 8, and look, I'm going to rewrite it here, and L is 2, 0. Okay, now here's what we're going to do. We're going to label, and we've seen this before when we talked about slope formula. This is X1, Y1, right? Look, this is X1, Y1. This is X2, Y2. Now, it doesn't matter if I made, I could have made this X1, Y1, and this X2, Y2. What I can't do is do like, oh, this is X1, this is uh, this is y2, right? Like one point is point number one, x and y. One point is point number two, x and y. Now the midpoint, look, and we can use m, is this. It's, okay, here's the formula. x1 plus x2 over 2. So x1 plus x2 over 2, comma, y1 plus y2 over 2. Okay, now that I plug this in, I'm just going to simplify step by step. 8 plus 2 is 10 divided by 2. 8 plus 0 is 8 divided by 2. This is 10 divided by 2 is 5, and 8 divided by 2 is 4. And this is the midpoint. Now I want to show you that this makes sense, right? Like if I just, let me just sketch a graph right here, right? This is x and y. Uh, K, this is 8, 8, right? This is point K, and L is 2, 0. Here's L. Okay, now look. Point 5, 4 is right here. What I want you to see is, like, let's look at the X values first, right? This X value is 2. This X value, yeah, this X value is 2. This X value is 8. The X value that's right in between 2 and 8, it's the average of 2 and 8. Look, it's 5. Okay, look, it's 3 away from 2, and it's 3 away from 8. It's right in the middle. How do we find the average of two numbers? We add them and divide them by the number of numbers. So I did 8 plus 2 divided by 2, and I got 5. Okay, now let's talk about the y values. Okay, the y value here is 0. The y value here is 8. The midpoint that we found was 4, right? That's 4 units and 4 units. Okay, now, that is why the midpoint formula works. But this is what it looks like. Okay, and you can use it every time. So you start, step one, label the points, x1, y1, x2, y2. Step two, plug the numbers in. And then step three, just do the math. I just did eight plus two divided by two, right? Eight plus zero divided by two. Okay, go ahead and try it.